Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be revamping these really cute tinsel forms from the Dollar Tree from this to this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take one of these cute little tinsel little red trucks from the Dollar Tree and we're going to unwrap all the tinsel and take apart the truck completely. So completely take it apart and take all the tinsel off. And it's not that bad once you get started so just take your time and don't break anything. <laughs> so just unravel and pull and tug and to so have it all taken apart and this is what it all looks like all the little pieces some of the pieces we're going to reuse but not everything so like we won't reuse the little gems and we won't reuse the Merry Christmas but everything else pretty much we'll use so I'm gonna start off by painting everything in this hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly get it all painted and just grab some twine and just start wrapping and so what I did was I just started using the little teeth and just going up and down in a up and down pattern which is my this what the way I decided to do it but if you have another way of getting all the twine on there you know do you <laughs> but this is this is how I decided to just start wrapping the twine going up and down up and down I mean that's how the, the tinsel was wrapped in the first place so I just continue to wrap some areas I have to go through the windows and through the car you know the truck up and down but just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until it's all wrapped up and feel free to use glue to cut pieces of twine to better reach some of the areas and use one of these cute little silicone spatulas anyway here's here it is all wrapped up nice and cute so now I'm going to put the little windshield back on and it's just a matter of gluing it in place so just kind of put it in there and add a couple dabs of glue here and there and use your little spatula to help hold it in place these little spatulas are fantastic if you don't have one and next time you go to the Dollar Tree they're in the makeup department and they are fantastic so anyway put everything back together put the bottom back on and put the fender back on you can glue that um, but I decided to cut off all the little notches that are on there all the little teeth I cut all those off because we weren't going to need them so I just snip them off real quick so now just add some glue and adhere it to the little truck of the body both sides just make sure it's on nice and tight so it doesn't come undone and here's my little truck so cute and now we'll begin with the little tree and here I ended up getting another little tree form the other one I had messed it up so anyway grab some of these garland ties they're the wired ones and you're just going to wrap the little tree with I think I used three three of the gar of the garland ties and so just keep wrapping until you have it all covered and press it to form it and add some more twine I had to get more twine because I ran out <laughs> so get some twine and wrap the base of the tree so give it a little bit of different texture on the tree tie it up in a little knot and snip it off snip off the excess and my little tree is looking cute very cute so now I'm taking some of these berry garland and I'm going to snip off I want to say it was about six inches of it or so 
and I just start wrapping it around the tree keep wrapping it around until you're all done to get to the top to get to the bottom get it all nice and tight on there and my little tree is done okay so now onto the little house it's gonna be the same procedure same technique same method we're going to remove the little roof and we're going to remove all the little windows we'll save the windows we're gonna repaint those and remove all that tinsel just be careful with the windows don't tear them all up if I mean they're paper so if they come off a little bit that's fine but don't don't let them get all torn up and just you're just going to remove all the tinsel off the whole frame and get it all off and we're not going to paint this because it's already in a white and so I'm, I'm good with that but if you want to paint it you can and the same thing with the little roof remove all that tinsel and it comes off pretty easy okay so now we're we'll back to the twine go ahead and get some twine and just start wrapping around well I started wrapping around the body of the house I began that way I felt like it was a little bit easier so just made a little knot there and I just started wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping okay so now pretty much it's done on well the body of it is done anyway add a little bit of glue to help hold, hold everything down hold it hold everything nice and tight and now I'm taking some of this white rope and I'm going to pull it apart and I'm going to start to cover the little roof with the white rope so when I pull it apart the one white rope becomes three strands so I just start to cover the little roof and I use the little teeth that are on there and I go back and forth so I go back and forth and back and forth it's pretty easy you're just gonna cover all the white is what you're trying to do so just use a little bit dab of glue to hold everything down in place so it's nice and tight and then um, we're gonna cover up any remaining white frame so we're gonna take some more of this white or cream colored uh, rope and we're gonna add it to the front of the roof kind of frame it and we'll do the same side we'll do the same thing on the other side and we'll also do the top so snip off this excess and we'll do the other side make it look cute get it all nice and cohesive don't burn your fingers <laughs> just be careful okay so now what we need to do is cover up our little chimney so we're gonna get some more twine and we're going to just begin to wrap the twine around that little chimney piece and it's pretty easy just go around and around 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 to get it all wrapped up doesn't take long but a second actually so you can make it as thick as you want as thin as you want just so you can get all the white covered up and then get done with that and add a little bit of glue to secure that in place and the twine portion of the chimney will be complete so now we're going to go back to the white rope or the cream colored rope and we're going to add it to the top of the roof to cover up any of the spaces that are left open. So here I'm just making all the strands approximately the same size so all I have to do is just add glue and put them down. So did a rough measure and snipped off a few and add some glue set them down and don't worry if they're a little bit too long on it either side you can always trim those later on which I end up doing that 
and so I'll add some more glue add another piece of rope and what you're trying to do is cover up any of these openings you don't want anything to, to be coming through no white of the frame you don't want any holes in there so just want to make it look nice and solid with these strands of rope so here I'm gonna go ahead and trim these because they're not even so after they're nice and glued and they're nice and secure I'll go ahead and trim off the excess make it look cute so now my little roof is ready and I'm gonna put it back on the little house and you can use glue to help with this at first I didn't but then in a little bit I did end up using some glue after all and now this little chimney I removed that little the little hanger that was on there and any little teeth that are still on there and here I begin to put the little chimney on with glue but I do go back and cover up the little top of the chimney with some of the rope but here I'm gonna trim off or trim the bottom portion of the little house I want to make it look nice and finished so I add some more of this thicker rope and I'm gonna glue it all the way around the perimeter just so it'll be nice and cute and just go around the whole thing so now you have a contrast of two colors you have the darker color of the twine and you have the lighter color of the rope so I think this combination is super cute super super cute but yeah just take your time and add your glue and place your rope please don't burn your fingers this, this could be very easy to root to burn your fingers for sure so and then add a little dab of glue at the end so the edges won't fray and the little house is looking cute super cute now here's where I end up putting the little rope on the top part of the roof I mean not the roof the the chimney it just gives it another another little look another little finished edge on the top makes it look super cute so just add that on there real quick I'm trying to be careful I don't want to burn my fingers because <laughs> this, this this glue gun could get hot sometimes even though it's low temp sometimes it does get hot so yes be careful with those fingers but just hold it down and add some glue so the edges don't fray so the ends don't fray and the finished result is so worth it because it's so cute super cute okay so now I'm gonna take some white chalk paint and I'm going to paint all these little doors and windows because yeah they're cute like the, the you know, with that shiny color but I want them to look more neutral so I just paint them white and now that they're painted I'm going to just Add it, add it all, add them back on with some hot glue. I'll add the little door and then, of course, the little windows. And you can place them however you'd like. I did the windows on both sides where the gables are, and then I just placed the square windows. I really had no rhyme or reason, I just placed them wherever I thought. <laughs> Put two in the back whatever whatever you prefer until it's all done and here's my little house looking all super cute kind of boho kind of farmhouse oh my goodness I am just loving this little set and look I ended up putting a little wreath on the top because the original picture had a wreath as well and the headlights the headlights are actually little pieces of wood that I had in my scrap bucket so they were round and they were scraps and so I just placed those on there but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet so until my next video 
Have a great day. Stay healthy, safe, and strong. Bye-bye.